This is a 330ml can of British craft beer. When we turned in our final draft of Brew Britannia, canning was an issue that we were just beginning to register. But in the last few months, it's become a hot topic, with the increasing availability of canned beer exciting some, while leaving others raging at what they perceive as a superficial fad. The first canned beer appeared in the 1930s, but in Britain, bottled beer remained the most popular alternative to draft beer consumed in the pub. During the real ale revolution of the 1970s, canned beer was beneath contempt. If Kegged Watney's Red was hated, Watney's Seven Pint Party Seven was a joke. Allied Brewery's Long Life Lager had a name that suggested it had more in common with sterilised milk or spam than with proper beer. For decades, there was scarcely a single canned beer that any self-respecting beer geek could wholeheartedly recommend. The current revival of interest in canned craft beer started in the US and perhaps predictably hit the UK via Brewdog who began putting Punk IPA in cans in 2011, when they said, Punk's transition to cans is yet another part of challenging perceptions to beer. No longer does can have to scream tasteless in sipid swill. Canned craft beers are the next phase in a completely redefined, reimagined UK beer scene. Cans have more space for attractive graphic design and offer numerous advantages to consumers. Try taking 24 bottles on the bus. But it's also likely that part of the appeal is that they are yet another way for craft beer to differentiate itself from real ale. Mm-hmm.